Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to dive into a super exciting and rapidly growing field in India which is VLSI specifically focusing on RTL design and verification. So if you are an engineering student, a fresh graduate or even an experienced professional looking for a career change, this video is for you. We will explore the two main career paths in RTL product based company versus service based company and help you to figure out which one might be the best fit for you. So why this topic is hot right now? So well in India, semiconductor market is exploding like it is projected to grow from $38 billion in 2024 to a staggering $105 billion by 2030. That's an 18% compound annual growth rate driven by advancement in AI, IoT, 5G and automotive electronics. So plus the government is heavily supporting the growth with a 76,000 crore incentive for the fab and design. Okay. Now all this means one thing, the demand for skilled RTL engineer is surging. Now before we go further, let's quickly understand what RTL design and verification is. So your RTL stands for Register Transfer Level and it is essentially an abstract way to describe the logic of digital circuit. The work involves micro architecture design, writing RTL code using languages like Verilog or System Verilog and UVM. Okay. Now creating test bench using methodology like UVM. It also includes a lot of debugging, running simulation and a formal verification to ensure that cheap work perfectly before they are fabricated. Okay. Now let's talk about the two main career paths you can take in RTL. So first we have product based company. These are the company that build their own chips and system. Think big names like Intel, Qualcomm, AMD, NXP and all. Okay. Now let's see the Intel design. Now see top product based company. So first of all, Intel, Intel design SOCs for AI, cloud and 5G. Now Qualcomm is known for mobile SOCs, 5G and automotive solution. Nvidia focuses on GPUs, AI acceleration and EDA tool. Whereas your AMD develop CPU, GPUs and cheap for game consoles and high performance computing. Whereas your NXP is a big automatic IoT and secure embedded system. Okay. Now. Let's see the life inside a product based company often means you will be deeply involved in developing or verifying your company own chip intellectual property, which is called an IP. Okay. Now you will get a deep exposure to SOC's architecture and RTL flow and you will also learn about low power high performance design techniques. You will regularly use a tool like UVM, Worldy and VCS. So generally product based company often longer tenure, a more structured career path and often better stock benefit. You will have a long term project with a strong focus on innovation and research and development. Okay. Now on the other hand, we have service based company. These companies provide RTL and design verification service to multiple clients. Some prominent name in India include SCL Tech, Bipro, Tissolve, Mosif and Advion. Okay. Now SCL Tech handle the full VLSI life cycle for global clients whereas your Vipro has an impressive track record with over 150 tape outs in SOC, ASIC and verification. Whereas your TSOL specialize in AI enhanced verification and test services. Your Mochik is a bit unique as they are hybrid offering both product and service and are known for fabulous chip design and your Advion are specialized in ASIC FPGA verification. Okay. Now in service based company, you will get assigned to different clients and work across various domain like automotive or IoT. The work is often fast place focusing on verification, including constant random testing. You will own your skill in system very low, UVM and formal property checks, gaining exposure to multiple methodologies and different terms. Now this environment allows you to learn quickly, switch project often and build a wide range of experience. Now 
let's do a quick comparison between these two so in salary wise product based company generally offer higher salary so in terms of salary wise product based company generally offer high salaries as along with the stock options while service based company offer decent salaries but raises might be slower okay now in terms of learning basis in product based company you will gain deep expertise in one specific domain whereas in service based company you will get a broad exposure across multiple domain now in terms of growth product based company offer more structured in house growth path whereas in service based company growth can be faster by switching between projects and client now let's see about the work life balance because this is more important now generally product based company tends to have a better work life balance through in service companies it can be very by client okay now let's see the innovation so product based company focus on creating their own intellectual property or can, you can say ips while service based company support the creation of ip for their client so in conclusion india is truly become a hotbed for rtl design and verification opportunity both product based and service based company offer immense opportunity for growth learning and exposure it is crucial to understand your own strength preference and career goal no matter which path you choose make sure to build a strong fundamentals in very low ubm and debugging and also remember don't just chase for a company